Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So here are the shoutouts for this week. If you have not already, please like this video and subscribe and comment down below that you have subscribed and also comment down below a nice comment and then I will try and respond and get you guys a shout out one of my future videos. Let's see what I'm doing today. Hey guys, so what I'm going to be doing today is I'm going to be doing a stretching video for you guys. And this video will basically teach you guys how to get stretch flexible all around so like your legs your back your arms all that stuff and i will give you guys i'm get, gonna show you guys how to do two cool tricks so stay tuned till the end to see those cool tricks all right and let's get into today's video i'm excited okay guys so the first stretch we're gonna do is first we're gonna start out in a straddle so this is where we have this is where we have our feet like this and our toes pointed Sorry, this is crooked for you guys, all right? And we don't want to go like all the way into a, like if you have your middle split, don't go all the way out, but don't like keep it right here, but don't go all the way back, all right? This is just a normal straddle, all right? So we don't want to like overstretch because it's just warm up. First, we're gonna go to the middle. I'll hold that for 10 seconds. We're gonna go to each side and hold it for five seconds. Okay, and now that we're done with that, I am going to go into a pike with my toes pointed first and grab my ankles. And if you're new at this, just grab your ankles, but try and like, try and like put your elbows to the ground. Okay, and now, grab your toes. I'm holding these for five seconds because these are just warm-up stretches. Okay, and now, warm-up stretches for your splits. I'm sorry, y'all, but I gotta fix this one up. All right, <laughs> so now, warm-up stretches for your split. Get into the world's greatest stretch. Toe pointed right here. Don't let your knee go over your toe and try and put the, your thigh to the floor. Now we're starting to get into some advanced stretches, so we're gonna hold these for 10 seconds. And then lean back, keep this one, keep this like at a 90 degree angle, and this like straight point your toes and put your nose to your knee. And now we're going to go, now we're going to bend this leg, straighten this leg out, kind of like try and arch back. Put this leg out to the side. Try and get on top of it and arch back. Okay, and then we're gonna do the same thing with this leg. On this one, you can kind of go forward. Okay, now we're ready to slide out into our split. You just lean back a few times. Okay, and hold this for five seconds. All right. Now that we have that, do it, do it on the other side. It is so humid outside, guys. It's like unreal how humid it is right now. I'm really sore in this leg today, guys. So I'm just gonna warn y'all in case the split does not look good. All right, I'm really sore in this leg because I did a, um, a high kick, you know, and um, yeah, it was, let's just say it was really high. <laughs> okay, now. Okay, and slide out. Okay, and now that we have our legs stretched out, we're going to go into some, now we're gonna be going into some back, back, back flexibilities, all right? So first things first, we're gonna start out with a bridge. This is just really simple. You can go watch my video on how to get a flexible back in one day if you want me to get into more details about this. But so basically what you're gonna do is you're gonna lay flat on the ground, keep your, except for your knees, point them up to the sky. And kind of like fold back your hands and put them right by your ears. You want your hands to be right by your ears? I would recommend 
your hair be a ponytail for this, but um, mine's not. And then at the same time, you're gonna push up, and straighten this out, and just hold this for like five seconds. bend your arms, cross your leg, and then roll up like that. All right. So, and then like we always like roll a few times like that. It's quite fun if you want to do that. So after we do that, I'm going to do a back bend, and then I'm going to do a back bend come up. All right. This is mostly going to stretch my core and my back. All right. So going to a back bend, we're going to keep our hands up, and you're going to try and go down control. All right. So like this. All right, and we're just gonna hold this. And then how you come up is you rock and you come up. All right, so um, you wanna get momentum. Ooh, my hair's bad. So you wanna get momentum to come up from your back bend. All right, that's, that's the main thing, get momentum. So now that we worked on our back, we're going to go into some back stretches, which I did not do in how to get a flexible back. Can that bird shut up? Shut up! Okay, he stopped. I said shut up! I'm getting mad at a bird. All right, so we're going into a seal stretch. So how you do this, my house is so loud. So how you do this, just go straighten out your, straighten out your legs, keep your toes pointed. Put your hands up and then kind of like go back. All right, and just make sure you stretch it. And then we're gonna go into this. It's called baby position in yoga. And then kind of like here, then back. All right, so now that we have our back all stretched out, we're gonna work on our arms, all right? So, you know, the stretch, cross this one over. Now the other one. And then put them behind your head. I don't really think it's a big deal to have arm flexibility, so I'm not gonna try much on that. And that is how you get flexible overall, and you basically just wanna go over those, those stretches like every day, every day for a week, and then you should become flexible, all right? And so now moving on to the tricks that I'm going to be teaching you. So how to do a handstand. I'm going to tuck my shoulder in for this. Okay, so how you do a handstand the correct way and then how to do a handstand limber. So those are kind of like the one trick. And I have another trick for you guys. So this also works with back flexibility. So if you're going to a handstand, so you're basically going to did you watch my back leg when I do that, all right? So how I get on my, the pad of my foot to push. Yeah, that's what you want to do, and you just use your front leg to guide you. Catch yourself with the hands, and then come back, all right? So I'm going to try this one more time for you guys. Okay, and so now that y'all have that, you can always rewind the video and see how I did that, all right? Now we're going to be going into a handstand limber. So you're just going to basically just... All right, that was a good handstand. <laughs> so how are you gonna go into a handstand limber? That is the warm up. You wanna like spread your feet out. Sorry if I misled you guys by thinking that was a handstand limber. I meant to say handstand limber warm up. So one more time with the warm up. And then kind of like kick your feet around. Make sure you're not gonna fall. That's just like a, that's a trust thing for me. If I know I can kick my feet around, I feel good, all right? So now into the handstand limber, you wanna kick off really hard. And then go like this, all right? And then eventually you will get a, let me just pull up here. And eventually you will get a front walk over by doing that, which looks like this. All right, that's the first step to getting a front walk over. I just need to learn how to land on my feet because I have not done a front walk over in forever. So that was actually pretty good for my first time in like a year. All right, okay. And so the next trick that I'm going to be teaching you guys, um, we're gonna be teaching you guys how to do a back walkover. Um, 
I'm just gonna admit it to you guys. I am scared as heck to do this. I have not done this in forever. Oh my gosh, all right. Okay, so the first step you're gonna need is your back bend kickover. So like this, go into your back bend and then kick over. All right, and I will do a video on how to get that. All right, and next, you're gonna wanna get like this. As you go back, your front leg goes up. So it should look like this. Oh, I did it, y'all, I did it, I did it. So it should look like that. It's kind of like a lever, kind of, or a seesaw. As this hand goes back, this foot goes up, so it's like, like that. And then you use your back leg to kind of like push off the ground. So this is how it looks again. All right, and then you stick it by landing like that. Okay, so. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to like this video and subscribe if you have not already. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys. Bye.